Hey friends, Steven here with Leviathan Snakes, and for this week's video, we wanted to start a series that we decided to call Micro Marketing Tips. And Micro Marketing Tips is going to deal with a lot of the business side of the reptile hobby, rather than like the actual snake and reptile and animal side. So this week's video is gonna be focusing, it's really, really short, all of them are gonna to try to be under five minutes long, so that way you can kind of get them in like bite-sized chunks. This week's video is gonna be focused on Instagram's aspect ratios, for posts and kind of like the pros and cons and kind of what's the best aspect ratio, which is subjective, but you'll see, you'll see. This micro marketing tip is specifically about Instagram's ratios. So, on Instagram, there are three different types of images or videos that you'll see. And there are the standard square, which is just a 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. You will have a landscape, which I don't remember off the top of my head. I wanna say it's 1080 pixels by 608, but I could be wrong on that. I'd have to look it up. I don't have my notes. I have all of it written down at work and stuff. Um, and then the last one is portrait, which is 1080 pixels by 1350 pixels. And these are just for posts, not for stories. So uh, I gotta just jump across here and get over to gas. So, okay, I made it. Um, but making sure I'm not good. Okay, no, I'm good. I apologize. Okay, so 1350 or 1080 by 1350. So the reason why this is important is that the size of the picture is going to determine exactly how it comes up in your feed. So standard is square. So just a square is going to take up, let's say, I'm making up numbers, let's say one square image on a news feed takes up 50% of the screen space, okay? A landscape picture has the exact same width as a square picture does, okay? But because it is landscape, it is shorter, and therefore it only takes up, let's say, 30% of the screen, okay? So a square picture takes up 50%, and again, I'm just making up these numbers, but it serves the point. Let's say square picture takes up 50%, landscape picture takes up 30% of the screen. A portrait picture is the same width as a square, but it's taller than it. So instead of it taking up 50%, it might take up 75, and then you have your caption there. The reason why this is important is that as long as the pictures look visually appealing as a square and a portrait, a portrait is going to take up more screen space, and therefore it's going to be easier to catch your audience's attention. And if you notice, a lot of the pictures that do really, really well happen to be portrait. So if you have a opportunity to take a picture and post it either square or portrait, I would advise posting them portrait as often as you can. 